In this video, you're going to learn how to find a particular term in a geometric sequence. So we're going to go through two examples together. You're going to get how this works. And let's start with this first example. Well, we've got 2, 10, 50, 250, dot, dot, dot. It keeps going. So what's the pattern here? What are we doing to get from 2 to 10 or 10 to 50? What's, what are we doing? Well, you can notice here that we're multiplying by 5 each time. And that five that we're multiplying by is what's called our common ratio. The reason they call it the ratio or the R value is because if you take the number divided by the one before it, like 10 divided by two, you get five. Or if you take 50 divided by the one before it, you get five. And you can see you're always getting that same ratio of those two terms. Uh, and that's called our R value or our ratio. Now, if we wanted to find, let's say for example, this fifth term, how would we do that? Well, you could just keep multiplying by five till you get to the fifth term, but what happens if you wanna find the 50th term or the 5,000th term? That would take quite a while to keep multiplying by five each time until you get to that term. So let's talk about the notation just real quick here. So this is uh, n equals one, n equals two. That tells us what term we're on, but the value of the term, we call that a sub one, like the first term in the sequence, or a sub two, the value of the second term in the sequence, or a sub three, et cetera. So what we're doing here, if we wanna find the fifth term, is we're starting at two, right? And we're multiplying by five, how many times? Once, twice, three times, four times. Now, why not five times? We're on the fifth term. Well, that's because we're already starting at two. We're already at that first term. So to get to the fifth term, we only have to multiply by the ratio one less time, so four times. So that's where this formula here comes into play. You start at the first term, you multiply by the ratio, n minus one time. So that's to the n minus one power, and that'll give you the value of the nth term. So uh, let's go ahead and simplify here. So five to the fourth is five times five times five times five, 625 times two, which gives us 1,250. Of course, you could say, Mario, I just have to multiply 250 by five, and I can find it that way. But let's say we wanna find the 10th term. Well, again, we could keep multiplying by five, or we can use our formula here. We could say, well, a sub 10, the value of the 10th term, it's the first term, which is two, times our common ratio, which is five, what we're multiplying by and we're gonna go 10 minus one, so n minus one. That means we're just multiplying by five nine times. So this would be two times five to the ninth, which let's go to the calculator on that one and see what we get. Two times five to the ninth, I'm getting a large number here, three, nine, zero, six, two, five, zero. So it's like 3.9 million, okay, roughly. Let's go to number two now. If you are getting the hang of this, see if you can try this one. We've got 80, 40, 20, 10, dot, dot, dot. How can we find the value of the 12th term? Well, what's the pattern here? How are we getting from 80 to 40, or 40 to 20, or 20 to 10? Some students might say, well, oh, I'm subtracting 40. 80 minus 40 is 40. But you see how it doesn't continue? 40 minus 40 would be zero, not 20. So here you can see we're actually multiplying by one half. And if you wanna verify that, or just make sure, take the term divided by the one before it. So 40 divided by 80, that reduces to one half, or 20 divided by 40, that reduces to one half. Uh, and you can see you keep getting that same common ratio of one half. So let's go ahead and uh, write a formula first. We'll say a sub n equals a sub one, which is the value of our first term, 80, times our common ratio, one half, to the n minus one power. So if we wanna find a sub 12, we're gonna put in 12 for n and simplify. So a sub 12 is equal to 80 times 1 half to the 12 minus one, which is 11. Let's go to the calculator, let's see what that comes out to. So we've got 80 times 1 half to the 11th. I'm getting a decimal, let me see if I can convert it to a fraction for us. It's five over 128. And that's the value of the 12th term. Now, if you wanna learn more about arithmetic sequences, geometric sequences, the notation, the rules, how to find the sum of a series, uh, go ahead and follow me over to that comprehensive video I did right there, taking a deep dive into sequences and series. I'll see you over in that video.